Okay, so today we're going to talk about the what's called the theorem environment. All right, so this is going to help us uh, formally state things like definitions, theorems, uh, observations, whatever type of you know. It's just a sort of formal way to section off a particular you know feature of the paper that you don't want to just be sort of blurred in the, with the text. Okay, so if you're doing math, this is obvious for theorems and lemmas. If you want to state a theorem and then uh, state the proof. Okay, uh, and for other people, you know, you may just want clearly defined definitions that sort of stand out on the page, and uh, this is going to help us do this. Okay, so this is the first time that we're going to actually put something in the preamble. Okay, normally we've just been restricted to between begin document and end document. I said ignore this part. So I already uh, put this here. So you can see, I've, I think I've already done this once before, that if you put a uh, um, a percentage sign in front of something, it removes it, but it, it keeps the text within the text tech file. But when you try to compile, it ignores it. Okay, so for example, if I put this in front of make title, uh, okay, I have to put something in the document for it to, to produce something. Uh, it it ju just ignores making the title. Okay, so we can, uh, okay, so. Uh, in order to create, a, let's say, a, a new environment for definitions, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to, you have two sets of curly brackets. Uh, in the first, so I'm just going to, okay, I'm going to show you what, what, what's the difference between what you put in the first one and the second. So in the first one, it gives you what you need to invoke this environment. And the second one is uh, what's going to dis what is this environment going to be displayed as? Okay, so I want to uh, write a definition. So okay, so a polygon, a triangle is a polygon with three edges and three vertices. And here we have this nice uh, definition. Okay, so let's say we just to give you some context of what it looks like when there's some text above and below. Uh, you'll see. Okay, so it kind of sticks out nicely and if we, oops, okay, so you'll see, I mean it gives you this nice separation, this nice environment, and you have the numbers so you can always go back and uh, reference this definition in the future. Okay, so uh, we can do this for, uh, we can make any sort of environment like this. Okay, so we can, we can call the environment x and let's say we want to make a remark about something. So whenever I, I say begin x and x and then I write uh, this is the I wanted to make, what we're going to get is remark one, and there you go. Okay, so what, what you put here is what shows up here, and what you put here is what you have to type here, okay, to get, to get what you want. Now, uh, okay, you can get rid of the numbering. So, again, this is getting more advanced now, uh, where we actually have to use this package. I would suggest you put this package in with everything, if you're doing math stuff, uh, it just has some useful things. Like for example, if you want to get rid of numbering, you need to put this package. So that's exactly what I was saying before. If I if I leave this package out, oops, uh, the way to get rid of the numbering, let's say we, we only want to number the definitions but not the remarks, you would normally put a star here, uh, but you see, right, this is the it's not it's not compiling so you may say to yourself okay I don't think I made any other mistakes if you check online you can say okay maybe I'm sure this this is the same and then you what you may realize is like you know somebody uses this and then you see that they're also using this package AMSM. so once I put the package in uh, this should work properly and there you go now I have remark without the 
uh, without the numbering. And there, there's a lot of customi customization that you can do with the numbering, especially within sections. So maybe you want the, the counter on the definition to depend on the section, you know, definition 1.1, definition 2.3, or you want, you know, definition 1 through 5 in section 1, in section 2, you want to restart the counter. Uh, there are plenty of ways to do this, and, and, you know, like I say, always just ask Google, and uh, Google will help you out. Okay, so so let's make a theorem environment. Just just to, one more. Okay, so begin theorem and theorem. Okay, so let's pretend we want to state a theorem. Uh, let so let a e. and C, B, on the right triangle, uh, if C, if C is the hypotenuse, then, I guess I spelled that wrong, not very often I spell this word, okay, then, so we're going to start combining all the things that we've learned here. A squared plus, so I'm creating an equation. B squared equals C squared. Okay, and this will give us our theorem. Okay, and this is exactly what you expect. Now, if you want, you can. I think this is also part of AMS theorem, the AMS theorem package. You can begin proof and proof, and in, in there you put a proof of Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so and this will give you this nice proof environment, which again, uh, which will end automatically with uh, this symbol. It's essentially a QED symbol. Okay, and you know you can. There are many, uh, like I said, many customizable features. So for example, I think you can write uh, Pythagorean theorem here. I don't really know how to spell Pythagorean, so I'm just going to leave this. Uh, I think there's a better way to do it. Let's see if we can find that. Uh, okay, so if you put it like this, it's going to put uh, whatever the name of, you know, what you know, you want to just... Okay, Pythagorean theorem. Okay. So I put this here, and then this is sort of a, the theorem and a little description of the theorem, and then the statement of the theorem and uh, the proof.